So hi everyone. Today we will be unboxing Nvidia's Jetson Oren Nano, the nano supercomputer which has been released by Nvidia a few days back and which is making quite some waves in the edge AI space. A big thanks to Nvidia for sponsoring the kit for data science in your pocket. So we will be unboxing this particular kit and telling you its different parts and in the upcoming parts we would be talking about how to run how to install and how to run different applications at the back you can see different config of the particular nvidia jetson oren nano kit starting off with the cpu specification memory options which is available in 4 gb and 8 gb options it supports two usb ports alongside two camera ports and ethernet port is also given that there is a port for connecting display output as well that i would be showing you later in the video a lot of things are given you would require to have a memory card as well for this so this is something that you need to buy there is a dc charger given with the port and the board looks exciting i can't just wait to unbox it i haven't touched it yet now seeing the other sides of the thing other information about the product as you can see Jetson Ore Nano Developer Kit coming directly from USA for our channel. Now let's remove the tapes, let's remove the seal and see what's inside the box. The packing looks quite sleek to me uh, and the size is also quite compact going in line with the idea of Edge AI. Now let's take out this particular black wrapper and this is how the box looks like as you can see. There won't be much component I assume, just the board and a charger. Let's see. So here it is Jetson Oren Nano. I think it's not still available in India by the time I'm making this video. It might come soon. There is a booklet for the users as well to read Jetson Oren Nano Developer Kit. And it has some particular diagrams I assume. As you can see here, some information is present. Apart from that, there is a diagram. To understand different parts that i will be telling you quite shortly so no worries about it there are charging cables as well as you can see you need to buy an sd card as i already told you as mentioned in the box as well which would you require to flash the image now we'll take out the jetson or nano so the first port is to connect your charger to jetson nano as you can see it's very similar to your laptop charger the second port is the DP to HDMI port to connect your display output that is a monitor with Jetson or in Nano. The next four are two ports are for connecting USBs, connecting peripherals like keyboard, mic etc. While the other two are for connecting cameras. Hence it supports two camera port as well and the last one is an Ethernet port for connecting Jetson or in Nano to local network via wired connection. The board looks quite sleek as you can see here and the first point is as you can see are the two usb ports the usb is 3.2 type a while talking about the camera it is two mipi ci two camera connectors i'm not a great guy for hardware resources but i think this is basic stuff that i came to know now looking at other parts of the board as you can see the top view this looks quite sleek as you can see here there is a fan which is very very similar to we have for computer cpus and we have in our laptops as well for cooling down of the motherboard uh, to avoid it from overheating as you can see it's quite smooth i'm love i'm loving playing with it now we will switch to the back side of the particular board as you can see there is a chip which is the system n chip system on a chip soc by nvidia which comprises of everything the cpu gpu memory etc so this is a special chip that nvidia has designed for its embedded systems the board looks quite sleek as you can see on the back side as well certain wires are visible and one last point which is the most important part is the memory card so you need to have a memory card of 64 gb which will go somewhere inside here you can't see the port visibly from here but this is just beneath the fan so with this it's a wrap i hope you like this unboxing of jetson or nano by nvidia the particular system looks great in the field of AGI, and i was reading about its gpu and cpu processing it's quite state of the art for embedded systems 
it is not comparable with your general cpu just remember this it's not comparable with uh geforce rtx gpus not that but still a great great system if you want to be handy and you want to play around generative ai in the upcoming videos we will be running through some tutorials on how to get started installation parts and certain basic tutorials running llms etc thank you